thank you for speaking. I'm, you are the master of voices. Oh my gosh, thank you, sir, for having me. And how's your Comic Con going? Oh, my Comic Con is just starting. Oh, really? I, I, yeah, I'm honestly, I probably do a lot less work than you. You look so well rested. That's why I can tell, yeah. Me, I, I look like roadkill. I'm ready to take a nap. <laughs> so, so let's uh, speak of roadkill. We're here for Banana Splits movie. I mean, yes. how, what brought you onto a project like this? This is not a children's story. It, well, it, they, are, they are originally children's characters from the uh, Warner Brothers Hanna-Barbera Library, of course. Um, and I love horror movies in general. So classic cartoon characters, horror movie genre, it's hard for me to say no. Now, you being the master of voices, you had to come up with the voices for these characters, right? Well, uh, they were actually uh, very uh, particular about keeping them close to the original. Oh. Uh, so we got we got Flegel, Snorky, you know, Bingo, uh, Drooper, and uh, this this guy here was originally voiced by Paul Winchell, as you may know as the voice of Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. So he always kind of sounds like he's out of breath, you know. And he's got that big wagging tongue. Oh, we're gonna have fun, yeah. Right. So I kind of just really tried to study the originals and and really uh, pay homage to the, the masters of voiceover. So, so which one of these that you had the most fun with? Definitely Flegel. I mean, th these two guys were voiced by two different voice actors, Alan Mellon, Melvin and uh, Dawes Butler. I know Don Messick had a, had a part of it. And they kind of had like this, Real southern drawl, you know, like we're we're gonna have a lot of fun today, right, kids? You know, but Flegel was always the one that had like, you know, he had the gusto. Wow, that's actually pretty awesome. So, so when you were voicing this, and this is being a horror movie, did it kind of creep you out? Well, I, you know, as a voiceover artist, I was brought in last, so I got to see the footage as we were recording, and I had to kind of collect myself, like between takes, because. You know, it's 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 very absurd because like these costume characters shouldn't be doing what they're doing in the movie, and I just I was like half of me was a little frightened, half of me was laughing, um, but the, I was there to get the job done, so it really took some time to get this one done. <laughs> wow, you know what actually creeps me out the most, and it, thanks to that kid at the table over there yeah. putting the theme song in my head, you know that. Tra -la -la, tra -la 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 -la. Yeah. yeah, I had to sing that. Oh, you did? Yeah, for like one of the scenes where one of the characters is walking in the background and, you know, they got these kids captured. And when you sing it like how you did it, tra -la 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 -la, it's nice. Yeah. But when you have to sing it like this, tra -la -la, tra -la -la, you know, like really slow it down and really, it, it, it freaked me out a little bit. Okay, I got goosebumps, <laughs> but anyways, hey, thank you, Eric. Enjoy the rest thank of your Comic-Con. Thank you. Comic -Con. Enjoy the Comic-Con, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.